I want to make y the subject of this formula. To do that, I need to get the y's on their own on one side of the equation. So I'm going to take this plus 2a over to this side. We have p minus 2a equals sy plus 2y. Now, the obvious thing to do now is to take out a factor of y. So I have p minus 2a equals, if I take out my factor of y, it leaves me with s here and 2 here. Now, to get y, I'm going to have this divided by this. So y equals p minus 2a divided by s plus 2. y is now the subject of my formula. To make k the subject, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply through by this factor here, m plus k. So I have t multiplied by m plus k gives me n squared plus k. I'm now going to multiply out this bracket. tn plus tk equals n squared plus k. I now want to get all the k's on one side of the equation and everything else on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to have tk minus this k equals n squared minus this tn. I'm now going to take out a factor of k. This leaves me with t here and minus 1. To get k on its own now, I need to divide by t minus 1. So I have k equals this part here, n squared minus tn, divided by t minus 1. k is now the subject of the formula. To make m the subject of this, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply by 15 plus m and by 40. For those that use the escalator method, the 15 plus m goes up the escalator this way and the 40 goes up the escalator this way. So I have 2a plus 7 multiplied by 15 plus m equals 40m. I'm now going to multiply out these brackets. So I have 2a multiplied by 15, 30a, 2a times m, 2am, 7 times 15, 105, and 7 times m, 7m. This is equal to 40m. Because I want to make m the subject of the equation, I need to get all the m's on one side and everything else on the other side. So I'm going to have 30a plus 105 equal to this 40m minus 2am minus 7m. I can now simplify this. So I have 30a plus 105 equals 40m minus 7m is 33m minus 2am. I'm now going to factorise this. So I have 30a plus 105 equals, take out a factor of m, m, leaving me with 33 minus 2a. Finally, to get m, I need to have this divided by this. So I have m equals 30a plus 105 divided by 33 minus 2a. M is now the subject of the formula. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. So I've started by multiplying out the bracket, giving me 10a minus 2c. Because I'm making c the subject, I want all the c's on one side. So this minus 2c goes here, giving me 7c, and the plus 1 goes here, giving me minus 1. To get c on its own, I now need to divide this by 7. Here's another question for you to do. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answer, press play. The 10 minus x has gone up the escalator here, 
and the 9 has gone up the escalator here, giving me 9 times 2, which is 18. The brackets have been multiplied out, and then I'm trying to make x the subject of the formula, so I'm going to get all the x's on one side and everything else on the other side. I've simplified this to give me ax plus 23x, and then I've factorised. To finish, I want to get x on its own, so I need to do this divided by this.